Hi guys, it's Meg here from Fit Mom Meg, and I just wanted to hop on real quick and just share a little bit about our upcoming accountability challenge that's actually gonna start on April 3rd. You know, I get a lot of messages of, how do you do it, and what do you do? And I would love to do that, but I don't have time. And I'm just thinking to myself, I don't have time either. I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of the day with my to-do list, or tomorrow, or you know, the next few days. And it actually gives me a little bit of anxiety, um, as silly as that sounds. But, you know, I actually prefer to work with the moms that are so busy that they don't have time because those are the moms that know how to get crap done in no time whatsoever. But, you know, I was that mom that I thought I was being selfish if I dare take time to work on me. And then that mom guilt would start to take over because society tells us, what's wrong with you? How selfish are you, you know, for taking and not spending every second of your day into your husband and kids? And then I just learned how important it was to take care of our health. And unfortunately for me, I learned the hard way with some irreversible health conditions now. But, you know, I learned that I had to stop pouring from an empty cup and my family was getting the worst of me and I was saving what was left of me, you know, for when I was out in public. And I just realized, you know, because we don't want society to know or people to know that we're struggling. And I just realized I don't want to be that person, you know, I don't want to you know, save my smiles and my niceness for when I'm out in public and then come home and be sniping and miserable. And it took me a while to be able to change that. It wasn't definitely an overnight thing, but you know, because of how we've changed our life and our thought process and what we're doing, I'm finally able to give my family the best of me and not what's left of me anymore. And the more accountability challenges that we've done, the more we've been able to, you know, perfect them and improve them and make them even better. And we've begun adding um, daily devotions to ours. And it was such a game changer for so many of us, especially for me. You know, we experienced how our health and our physical health and our spiritual health are just so all intertwined with one another. And it's just allowed us to, you know, to bond together and creating a solid foundation of support between one another. And another thing that I know I need to address, because I've actually been asked this a few times, um, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, um, where you are on your journey with Christ. Yes, I'm a follower of Christ and I believe that we're called to be Christ-like, you know, but I do have those that are new in their journey or even some that haven't even begun, but yet they're feeling that pull towards us and they just want to get to know him with us. You know, so if that, if you're new and that's been stopping you from reaching out, just know that you are welcome. You know, we would love to help you. We would love to share him with you and just answer any questions that you might even have about it. Um, but on another thing too, is we also offer prizes because who doesn't love free swag for doing what we should? Um, in the first place and honestly we just love to reward ourselves for being good and having fun and it kind of makes it more fun it kind of gives you that little competitive edge a little bit but the biggest thing that we have learned is how to eat to lose you know without restricting ourselves we do not diet we do not count calories and we do not do calorie deficits whenever I hear somebody tell me I'm doing a 1200 or a 1500 calorie you know um, diet for getting ready for summer a little it's all i can do not to cringe and a little part of me is just like no but i try not to say anything and i don't you know because i don't want to discourage anybody but we don't do deficits because deficits don't work long term they work short term um yes we still eat the bad things that is one of the biggest misconceptions about clean eating is everybody thinks that oh, you're a coach, you know, we can't ever enjoy ourselves ever again. And that could have be farther from the truth. Trust me when I say that we are not perfect. We are just like everybody else. In fact, I am not giving up my pizza. I am not giving up my chocolate and I'm not giving up my Taco Bell. I'm just learning to eat it in moderation so that I can still get the results that I want, but still also enjoy the things that I love. And I'm not depriving myself and ended up, you know, because whenever I would deprive myself and try to give things up, it never it never worked out well. I would just end up on a binge and just go crazy eating everything in one day. So we don't do any of that stuff. We don't we don't get rid of a, a lot of things. You know, we keep the stuff that we do love, and we just do everything in moderation. So you know, if that's been scaring you off, thinking you're gonna have to give stuff up, just know that you're not. I promise you're not going to have to, and we will work together and show you how simplified that it really is. 
but you know, we will focus on how to take those action steps to take better care of, you know, our mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health. Because, you know, being a parent and a spouse, it's hard work and it's also the most important role that we have. And it's also the hardest roles that we have, you know, and we also want to help you recognize how special and beautiful and just uniquely made by him that you are. You know, so we're going to provide the 30 days of recipes that will give you the flexibility to use paired with, you know, the nutrition guide and the recipes that come with the program. But if you are sick and tired of battling this alone and you are ready to take back control, um, you know, comment below that you're ready, message me or email me and let's just get you back onto the path of being your best self for the rest of your life.